Hello and welcome to Tutorial CU. My name is Yannick and in this video we're going to talk about the using keyword that you can see right here. Well, the c -sharp using keyword is used to manage resources and ensure that they are properly disposed of when they are no longer needed. So here we are declaring a scope for a file stream for example. Now here we have some data, we take the bytes and then we write everything to that file. Once we're exiting this code block, the file stream will get closed and disposed, so the allocated memory will get released. Now we can use it for file streams, we could also use it for database connections and other resources that require careful management. So for example, if a file stream or a database connection would not get disposed correctly, chances are that we create a memory leak inside of our application. And that one will slowly consume all the memory until our application will, well, get stuck. Now I'm pretty sure that you have seen such a using statement pretty often already, but now I wanna show you what's happening under the hood. So let me just replace the code with another one. I will just comment that out and bring that one in. So here we have another file stream, right? It's just a variable inside of our main method. Then we have a try block. Guess you know that from the try catching, right? So we're trying to execute code. And if an exception occurs, for example, then we could catch it. But here we only have two blocks, a try block and a finally block. So we're trying to write something to the file stream. And once we're done with it, we will jump into the finally block and we will dispose the object. So please notice that we are calling a method right here, which is called disposed. We will need that knowledge just for later on in this video. Now, the good thing about a using statement is that it doesn't really matter if an exception occurs. So if we would not be able to write to that file stream in both scenarios with that code block or even with that one. So if an exception occurs, it doesn't matter because we are wrapped inside of a try. So we're still trying it. We are ignoring the exceptions, but the finally block will get called anyway. So if we are facing an exception or not, doesn't really matter. In any way, the file stream will get disposed. So this is exactly the same code as you can see it right here. But this one here helps you understanding what's happening under the hood inside of the using statement. If you're looking for a way to massively boost your c -sharp skills, please go ahead and check out our c -sharp Progress Academy. It is a self-paced online course that teaches you ASP.NET, Angular, unit testing and even c -sharp software design patterns. We offer a 14-day money-back guarantee and I'm absolutely sure and confident to say that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a c -sharp developer. So you can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. And if you like this video and if you have learned something new, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you are no longer missing any upcoming .NET and C-Shop and ASP.NET related videos, right? So smash the like button and the subscribe button right now. Okay, so there's even another syntax on how we can create a using statement. So let me just replace that again. There we go. What we can do is we can create a using in a single line of code just like that. We go ahead and say using var file stream equals to new file stream. And inside here we simply say example.txt or whatever, and then the file mode open. So now we have that written in a different syntax, right? But I wanna show you that I'm not the fan of that too much because if I just copy it over here, and if we now compare them, please just ignore the errors. You can see that this first version here, the original one, right? That this is really giving us a nice view on the scope of the actual using, while that one here is just, well, you cannot really see that we are using a using statement right here, right? So this one definitely shows us the scope immediately, does not provide any curly braces. So you can use the one you like, but as I said, I'm more the fan of the traditional one because it's easier to read and it gives you a nice and clear idea of the scope. Now, do you remember when we called that dispose method once we had that try and finally block. So let's just create our own object. Let's create our own connection. Let's say you wanna create a custom database connection or whatever, anything where you want to make sure that it really gets disposed in the correct way. In that way, we would create a class. Let's just call it my connection like this. And now let's try to create our own using statement. So let's create a using here. Let's say my connection, let's say connection equals to new my connection. And we have the curly braces. And you can see that this is not working. It's not working because if we use using, <laughs> we need to have a dispose method. And we only get that if we just inherit our class. So my connection from I 
disposable. Now in that way, we have to, because it's an interface, we have to implement the dispose method, as you can see right here. Inside here, we could now handle all the stuff that we need to do to really make sure that the object gets closed and that all the allocated memory gets, well, released. But now you can see that we are able to use our my connection, our custom class inside of a using statement. So once our own using statement right here would be done, so once we reach line 19, just for example, the dispose method of our my connection object would automatically get called and our object would get disposed. Great, and that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any upcoming videos and definitely give this video a thumb up. And if you want to take your C-Shop skills to the next level, check out our C-Shop Progress Academy.